crying out loud, why are you on my case, Richard? I am not stressing you, don't stress me. Or what's that supposed to mean? Just leave me alone! If you let me be, I will not be in your space! Well, news flash for you, Linda. You are already in my space, okay? This is my space! You see all of this? All of this, this is my space! So you are in my space! For that gate. Hey, I never see one for find gate before. I I never leave one for that um, I, islander. Hey, <laughs> you are waiting. I call one for that islander again. No. Hey, banana islander. You mean banana island? You whatever I call him. Good morning. Morning to you, will I? Uh, I'm here to see Mrs. Elisa today. She asked me to come and see her today. What did I concern you? Tell her I am from Agent Michael. Oh, you what? You AV Angel Michael of a Bible? See, I'm already running late for this appointment. Please just tell her that I'm here to see her. The Linda, Linda. Who? Oh, oh, you what? Now you AV that girl, I say when I come home for weekend. I couldn't come for this time. It, it was traffic. Traffic was very heavy. Well, like, you are not serious with you. Which traffic I did hold on for Lagos? I'm, I'm late Please already. Just tell her, uh, just, just tell her that I'm here. Just help me. I will enter. I will do and like this. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Like I come I'm for sorry. Please. Come on for you. Please. Uh, just help me. I'm I'm waiting. Thank you. I will say for you. I say one like. Sorry. I'm just gonna wind up with this one. Who is it? Now, now me, I'm your online. Oh, oh, come on in. Now, what up? That day I come that day, I look, look, look for you online. Who? Oh. I, I say I name now Linda. Oh, oh, oh. tell us coming. Okay, madam. Okay, what up? Madam, oh, I don't okay. bring them home while I. Okay, thank you. Can go. Okay, okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, what's that your name again? I keep forgetting. Linda. Linda, yes, Linda. Uh -uh. But I waited for you till about um, 10 a.m. I waited for you till like 10 a.m., yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the traffic. Uh -uh. Traffic on the road that day was very hectic. Next time, make sure you leave early, okay? Of course. Alright, please have a seat. Thank you, Mom. I hope your agent told you everything you'll be doing in the house. I like everything done with him. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> he told me everything. I will never ever disappoint you. Are you sure? Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm very good at what I do. I will never ever disappoint you. Hmm. Um, no problem. Um, let me show you around.
So yes, I know. I don't understand why I still can't find any of your wedding pictures in your house. What's going on? I know you are still yet to collect from the photograph at the last time. You're still yet to? Yes, so I'm really. Hmm. In fact, that is what has given me so much excuse. When I spoke with um, Richard this morning, he complained so much. I think we'll ask after you. That's okay. Richie, Richie. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's doing all right. Anyways, um, should I get something to eat? Of course, I'll eat. <laughs> I know you'd like to say I like to eat, I don't mind, I'll eat. Oh, thank God, you know, my sister's house, I'll eat. What do you have to give me? Yes. Um, sure. Linda! Sure. Linda! Uh, Please come. Linda, Good afternoon, how are you? Please, try and get my sister something. Okay, ma'am. Oh. Yeah. I want a bar. Okay. And um yes, a bar. A bar is good. Which soup do you want? A foil roux. Okay. Or do you not have a foil roux? We have. We have. Yes. Eh, hey, give me a foil roux and a bar, please. Okay. Ma uh -huh. mm. What? <laughs> With all the food, nothing is showing me your body. Thank you. I like it like that. <laughs> Think toned and proud. Your body told me. I like to <laughs> Can I miss you so much? I miss you too. You do miss me. I don't know. But tell me, this one I don't even have time to come see me again because of this your new job. I don't understand though. Ah. Uh, you know I just got this job like a month ago. Let me be managing it for now, I beg. Mm, I, I, come to think of it. You've not still told me why you left your friend's house. As in Chicas. Mm. No? Uh, that story is a very long story for another day. Yeah. I, can't, I can't start with that one now. But you know I've been looking for a job since and I'm not getting anyone. Somebody mm. now introduced me to an agent that who said he yeah, will get me a job where I get to live in their houses. Since Chica has asked me to leave her house, I said, well, let me go come out, grab this as an opportunity and manage it pending the time I get the kind of job I want. Yeah. So I'm here. I mean, why, why didn't you just tell me that, okay, you want somewhere, I can accommodate you. Huh? That your house that you have uh, four, be five boys inside. <laughs> I'll not be the only girl. Or what, what's going to happen? Are they going to rape you? Thank you. Yeah, I respect you so much. Hey, matter, how will I be changing? Ah, Smarty. I'll just be guiding you like this. Look at me. Don't be guide me. Leave change me. Change I'm fine here. Don't guide, guide me. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, leave me. I will not. I will don't want. I don't want. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't <laughs> me. I will stay here. Come on, stay in your house. You're just so naughty. Uh, okay then. Okay, well. All right. Love you too. Bye. Um, uh, Linda. Linda! Ma, please come. Ma. Please sit. Who was that guy? His name is Charles. I didn't ask him his name. He's my boyfriend. Next time, tell me you're expecting a visitor. For security reasons, I just don't allow just anybody into my home. Okay. okay. It will happen again, I'm sorry. No problem. And I hope it's the only friend you have. Okay, yeah. okay then. Oh, the dinner is ready. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Uh, meanwhile, um, I asked my friend to bring um, some clothes for you. Uh, yes, yes. Hope you like them. Yes. All right then. Thank you. Who is that guy? He's my 
boyfriend. Sweet wine, really. Um, Shitty, don't you have something like shortbread or digestive biscuit just to make this thing, you know, simmer down? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, well, it's time for you to start going. Huh. Why? My madam is probably on her way back. She went to pick her husband from the airport. Your madam? I thought your madam was here when I, when I came in. I mean, she's probably cool with me coming around to see you. I mean, she doesn't have a problem with it. Charles, because my madam is okay with you coming here to see me, doesn't mean that we should abuse the privilege. Abuse the power? I'm, we're not abusing anything. It's... Just calm down, okay? Don't take it that way. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Let me escort you. Come on, go in. Let me go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want them to come and see you here. Oh, home, sweet home. Tell me it was a matured woman we employed as a maid. Come on, Richard. Uh uh. She seems like that's why you employed her in the first place. Or you want me to employ a 12 year old girl? No, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is just that I didn't mm -hmm. want it to look like. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything. I miss you. I mm. miss you so much. Mm. Oh. oh. It's good to be home. Seriously. Yeah. Ah! I'm the only one that can make the presentation at the front. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, All right. Um, I think that's going back to the car. Well. Well, uh, I'm back by Friday, anyways. It's just two days trip. Uh, Mrs. Elisa Taddy, have oh. a safe trip. Okay. Yes, darling. <laughs> um, See ya. Don't miss me too much. I'll try. Linda. Go and check who is at the door. Who is that? Let her in. Is it he, sir? Good evening, sir. Now, I don't care who you are. Let this be the very last time I will see you come into my house again. But, but sir, the other day I, I came... I don't care. Now, get out! Now let this be the very last time I will ever see that boy in this house again. Whatever privileges my wife gave to you has ended as of today. It's obvious you're, you're, you're abusing it. It won't happen again. It better not.
who's coming to someone's house and, and start bringing men up and down into so you have the f tree to bring in your boyfriend into my house but your wife gave me the go-ahead before you got back Okay, sir. You know, why in hell did you even accept to work here when you know this is my house? How was I supposed to know this is your house? Thank you very much, ma'am. And meanwhile, I notice you speak very good English. Did you finish secondary school? Yes, I did. I even have a diploma. Wow. Why are you here? <laughs> Actually, I left the university when I was in my 300 level due to some issues I had. But, madam, don't, don't let me bore you with my stories. It's very long. Anyway, we'll get to talk about that more later. Okay. Please, make yourself comfortable. Don't drop the bag inside. Okay. Uh, there are no pictures in your house. <laughs> that. Well, my wedding pictures are still with the photographer. I'm expecting them soon. Oh. Hmm? You can go in. Right, thank you very much, Ma. Sorry. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. There was no way I would have known this was your house. I understand. Well, this is crazy. Nina, this is just crazy. Look, you can't walk here anymore, and you know why. To do my job here, your wife doesn't have to know anything. Did you get it? How am I supposed to hold myself when you live under the same roof with me? You won't understand. Understand what? Lena, understand what? I'm thirsty, I need some water. So what won't I understand? A lot of things happened after you graduated. Like you know, I was in 200 level. 
And unlike now, there were no phones, so there was no way I would have been able to reach you. But I came to your hostel to look for you, and your roommate said you left for the house in a hurry. I haven't given her a letter to give to you. A letter? Yes. A letter never mentioned you coming around and talk more of giving me any letter. That's crazy. Because I was traveling out, and I couldn't find you anywhere, so I had to drop a contact number for you to reach me with. I was very devastated. I was down for several months because the love of my life was nowhere to be found. I didn't know where your family house was in Ibadan, so. And it was at the same time my auntie that was taking care of me passed on. So. All of this happened to you? Yep. But my friend stays in Yonsukai. You know that. Like I said, a lot of things happened. But that's in the past now. Even though I felt something deep inside of me awaken when I saw you walking with your wife a few days ago. I don't envy you, Richard. Don't envy me, Ochinedu. Don't envy me at all. And to think I looked for her everywhere in Osaka, but I couldn't find her, even though you were always on my case. Yeah, I remember. Well, it just shows it wasn't meant to be. Osaka days. You guys were the Bonnie and Clyde of the school. <laughs> so much love in the air. Well, that's in the past now, Trinidad. It's, it's in the past. You see, the problem now is that she has nowhere to go to. And how's that your concern? How's that your problem, Richard? Tell me. She's not your responsibility. <laughs> Richard, do not let an old flame kill what you have with Elisa. Do not. Your marriage is less than a year old. You know that. Richard, I know you. <clears throat> I know you, Richard. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm embarrassed. Oh, well, you should be. This is a very shameful thing, you know, Richard. No matter the kind of emotions you were going through, you, you should have controlled yourself. I tried, okay? I tried so hard, Chinidu, but I, I just couldn't fight it. Although we did not have sex, I had to stop it. It was getting out of hand. That is the first time, Richard. The first time. Let Linda go before Elisa gets back. You do not want your wife to come back to find out what's between the two of you. Let Linda go before it gets out of hand. I told you. Sorry, Oga, we like me. I need to do something for my cat. We like. We do something for my cat. Too poor, Oga. Sorry, Oga. Hey, Oga. Somebody I don't bring on body side. I'm careful for you. We like. I don't know who this is. Ara gele game game. Stop him. Make him play him again. Ara gele game game. Stop him. Play him again. Yeah. 
So it has come to the point where you call my wife by name, right? Baby, I'm sorry. Now don't call me that, okay? What happened yesterday was a mistake. And that's why you have to leave this house. Alright, I love my wife. Richard, see what happened yesterday just made it very obvious you still have feelings for me. Just as you awakened my love for you. Don't touch me. Come on, Richard. You used to like my touch when we were back in school. Stop mm. it, okay? Stop it. Don't pretend you don't miss me because I miss you. Stop it. Mm. Stop, 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 stop. It's just you and I in the house. What's wrong with you? Stop now. Good child. Mm. Mm. Stop, stop, stop. Don't you miss me? Linda, Linda, get up, get up, get up, okay? Look, this this just can't keep happening. Where's, where's, where's my... Look, see, we have to really stop this, okay? This is is not, is not something that should be happening every time, all right? I don't like it. You're giving this girl a lot of free handle. Imagine her coming into the house with her boyfriend. Eh? She's a maid for crying out loud. Uh, uh, Richard. I can't believe you just said that. Okay. What do you mean by free hand? Look, I just want her gone. Okay? Let's go get someone who is 18 years old or something. Not someone who is probably your age mate. Uh uh, so the age is your problem. Yes, it is. Elisa, it is my problem. Okay, Mutigo, Kusiwala. Eh, Kusiwala now. She don't know. house Linda okay acting are you jealous of Charles or have you forgotten what I am in this house 
just the maid. Look, you know what? Let's just forget about everything that happened between you and I, okay? And, and just, just leave my house, okay? Just leave. Because I, I, I don't seem to control myself each time I'm around you. I, I, I tend to lose focus and everything. And sometimes I just begin to imagine how it would feel like, you know, being so close to you. And sometimes I, I, I wonder how it would feel like if you were my wife. Well, Richard, it's not too late. It's obvious you still love me and I love you too, okay? So you've been lying to me. Shut! Oh. I heard everything from outside. Linda! Before I get back into this living room, I want you gone! Honestly. Elisa, please, I need to talk to you. I don't care whatever you have to say right now. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Uncle Richie. Maybe you should just leave her for now. You should just let her be. She'll be fine. Please. Please, can you excuse me, my wife? We need to talk. It's okay, sir. Richard. Richard. Oh. Ugh. Jimmy, what's up, man? I should ask you that. You have no idea how long you've been standing here? I, um, uh, well, I've been very busy and, uh, yeah, there's so much work to do. I can't do this. There's a lot of problem in my home right now. Don't tell me you still haven't sorted out this issue. Harder than you think. I warned you, Richard. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. I told you to let Linda go. But you wouldn't listen. If I remember very well, I think you said something like you didn't want to leave. I guess so. What are you talking about? Then push her out. Is it by force? That's a guinea. Elisa is just so stressed out. It's fight almost every day. What do you expect? What, not really, what do you expect? Elisa doesn't deserve half of what you're doing to her. She's been nothing but good to you. And to say she loves you so much. Why are you doing this to her? I know, I know, I know. Of 
okay i know that but right now i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm torn in between two worlds i'm beginning to feel my feelings for lena is Nigga, listen to yourself. No, take a minute. Reprocess and listen to what you just said. You mean you want to throw everything away? All because of an old flame. That's what you're telling me, right? Does it not sound crazy to you? You have to start thinking. Think. And until you start thinking, I have no business being with you. Think. Sis, I hope that stupid housemaid of yours has finally left your house for good. For oh, yeah. uh -huh. But I've not seen her since I got here now. Well, that's because she's gone out. And that's the first time she's leaving this house since the incident. You are being soft about this whole thing and I'm wondering why you're like this. Come, do you want one refract to come into your house to steal your man from you? No, 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 for me. I don't believe in the book of thought. That says your man can be stolen by another woman. Unless he wants to be stolen. <laughs> really? Okay, but elder sister just opened her mouth to say that to me in 2014. Did you just say that? Well, I'm not allowing another woman to take over my house. That's why I told Amusa not to open the gate for her once she gets back. <laughs> really? No, come. Hold on, hold on. So she's not going to come back into the south? Yes. That's that. This is going to be fun. Well, like, who I be, well, like, I want him to get. Well, like, I know one thing, well, like, one thing, I want him to get. Hey, I want white. You will not fight. Then, what are you going to say? I want white. 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 I don't be a I don't be a I don't be a Now he know I won't force yourself come inside your life. I didn't force myself, I won't hinder. I tell him that I won't be hinder, my darling. Go back to wherever you are coming from. Elisa, who are you to tell me not to come into this house? Oh, she has every right to ask you not to come into her house. You know why? Because you don't get yourself into people's home to destroy it. So get your low life out of here and leave us for good. Oh my God. Really? Really? Who am I to ask you to leave? Richard wants me to stay. So you cannot ask me to leave. Who am I to Who are you? Linda. Who are you, Linda? Okay, whatever I want to make a stop on this. Make a stop on my life. Make a stop on my life. Make a stop on my life. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Make a stop. What's the name of this? Is it just a stupid bitch? Shut up your mouth. Sorry, Oga. And you? Why are you fighting her? Eh? Did you just ask me that question, Richard? And you? Sorry, Oga. Where were you when I was talking? Who shut the room and I open the gate for me? Sorry, Oga. Sorry, Oga. Amusa, I'm going to deal with you in this house. Sorry, Oga. Sorry, Oga. Sorry, Oga, baby. Shut up your mouth. I was the one that started it all. I was off on my own. Richie. Richie. 
Sponsor Nacho. I don't care whatever both of you had in the past. All I care about right now is for this lady to leave my house. Oh my God, this is just too embarrassing. Look, I know. You don't know, Richard. You don't. But, but, but what, Madam Eliza? I am pregnant. Hmm? You should know that now. Is this true? Is that why you haven't sent her out all this while? Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You're I'm... sorry for what? <laughs> this is, this is, this is all just my fault. Not now that I'm pregnant too. You. I'll come back for you. <laughs> Whoa, 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 slow down. Both women are pregnant? <laughs> I have nothing to say to that, Richard. I'm in trouble, Chinedu. I'm in love with two women and, and they're both pregnant for me. What are you even talking about? You know what? I think the problem you really have is the problem of indecision. Yes, it is. Because there's a saying that goes that if you if you if you say you like two women now, if you really actually like the first one, you won't have feelings for another. Your oh, mind is different. Yes, it's different because you're acting stupid. Yeah, you're acting stupid. I never knew Lina was such a devilish girl. And it's because you allowed it. Richard, Elisa doesn't deserve what you're doing to her. She doesn't. You really, really, really have to think. Before you get yourself killed, one woman is enough for Alao. Not to talk of two. I'm in trouble. Yes, you are. Have you told your parents? Elisa already spoke to my mom, and that's why I'm so mad at her. She knows I like to keep my problems private. And where has that gotten you? Even I that you told all these things, all the advice I gave you, did not think in. You're just a stubborn man. Stubborn. Let's, let's leave here. Oh, is that your plan? Oh, Richard, no. You know I can't do such a thing. I'm not sure about that anymore. 
Richard, you caused this. You allowed this to happen. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm going to accept the child. But we just have to let her go, please. She's, she's putting so much strain in our marriage. Well, uh, she's not going anywhere. Okay? Not after what you did to her. I even thank God that happened because now I'm seeing your true color. I'm not going to allow it. I'm not. Not in my house. I'm not going to allow any woman to take over my home. No way. I don't understand. You're acting like you... You're acting like you're on something. Richard! How are you today? I'm, I'm fine. Um, please, um, I would like to see you. Where can we meet? Oh, oh, oh. That, that's fine. That's fine. I'm at home. Okay. Bye. I really do know how you feel, Elisa. But I need you to stop crying. Chinodo, what have I done to deserve this from your friend? You refuse to come over like you're weak now. I'm going insane. A whole week? But, Elisa, you guys went too far. Beating up Linda with your sister? That was extreme. Up to the point that she fainted. I have done nothing but to treat Linda nicely since she got here. Look at how she's paying me back. At least I understand that this situation is quite complicated. But, you know, no. there are... It isn't complicated. Yes, people, people fall in love. Date. Break up, or not even break up. And move on. Because they had passed does not necessarily mean they have a future. I won't allow it. I'm not going to allow another woman to come and take over my home. No way. At least I need you to understand that it's really difficult for me or anyone to interfere in couple problems. But you really need to take it easy. I know that this situation has brought out the worst in you. Trust me, I know. But I promise you one thing, yeah? I will talk to Richard. How are you feeling now? I'm fine. I'm just lucky I didn't lose this baby. Oh, don't worry. I'm so sorry about that, okay? I'm very sorry. As long as I'm in this house, nothing will happen to you and the baby. Okay? Sorry. Sorry. I'll give you more. Sorry, eh? Thank 
you with your age. Your child. What is it? Eh? What is it? Please, I'd like to see you. Please. Richard, I come in peace, please. Look, I'm coming, okay? I'm coming. I'm coming soon. I'm coming. I said I'm coming. Richard. Richard, you know me, I need you right now. Please don't go anywhere. Okay, I'll be back soon, okay? Let me just hear what she has to say. I don't hmm? want you to go. It's okay, it's okay. Back. <laughs> it's because you know I love you, that's why you're doing all of this. Eh? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry now, baby. Let's, let's sort this issue out, please. Anyway, there is no issue to sort out. All right? You made it an issue yourself the day you decided to beat her up. Okay? She's still lying there receiving treatment because of the brutalization you inflicted on her. She provoked so, me. Okay. 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 But, please. You can't fight for us alone. You have to fight for us too. Please. Um. Anyway, I am not in the mood for this. I'm not in the mood for any fighting. Okay? I'm a lover of peace. So please, just let me. Richard. Babe. Richard. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Nice work. Uh, we thank God we're pushing and then God has been faithful, you know. Yes. I'm sorry, is Linda home? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, Linda! Linda! Let me get something, okay? Please. Okay. I'm honest, please. Just Thank sit down, all right? Thank you very much, ma. Thank you so much. Linda! Hey, Linda, how are you doing? Now you behave. Now you go behave. Uh, do not fight. Oh, you don't know. We are in a serious battle. Haven't I told you we are over over the phone? Why no, no, is that how to win the relationship? No! Charles, go and sit down. Go and sit down there. Let me go and write an epistle and dedicate it to you that we are over. Eh? Elisa! This is your plan, eh? This... 
Here is your uh, uh, Wait, Linda, is it your boss you just addressed to us? Come on, shut up your mouth and get out of my house. This house belongs to me. I may get out. I am going to stay here. I see that a demon has taken over you. In fact, you are Satan itself. I'm not a demon. Look, get out of my house, Charles. Shall we go? Prince Charles, me. Come on, get out, get out of my house. What? what? Linda, me. Go! Oh! Get out, get out. She just embarrassed me in front of Charles right now. Oh my God. Oh no, no, no. I can't take this anymore. I can't. Madame Linda, do you think I'm going to allow you to take over my home? Don't come here and home anything. Because if not what happened between me and Richard, you will not exist in his life. What did you just say? You heard me. I don't kill yourself inside one night. I don't kill yourself inside. Blood I did watch for heavy wave on the left and the center one night, Oga. Yes, yeah, yeah, you waga. The two madam one night. If I say I know be small one night, okay, you make I do come one night before I kill yourself in the center. The two waga you will lie, madam. You waga. Okay, make I do come one night. You waga. I just try to surprise them that you have inside me one night, Oga. Okay, Oga. What did she do to you? Did she push you? Did she hit something on your head? What happened? That's, that's not even the issue right now for me. I think I've lost the battle already. How, how, how do you mean? Just talk to me. The only thing that is keeping me in that house is gone.
Richard. Huh? Richard. Why haven't you gone to see your wife at the hospital? Why are you so stubborn? My wife? Yes. Well, the last I remember, my wife is at home. Oh, you mean she has been discharged? Wait, Auntie, what are we talking about here? Oh, now I know you've gone insane. You mean you abandoned Elisa at the hospital? Look, Auntie, as far as I'm concerned, my wife is at home and she's doing well. Okay? Richard. Um, Auntie, are you still around? Uh, I want to go inside and do something. Maybe I should call Linda to come and make your food for you. Hey, so you are sending me away? Auntie, I'm not sending you away. I'm saying, are you still around? Let me... Oh, excuse me, Auntie. Okay. He hasn't even come to check on me since my admission here. <sighs> my Richard is gone. He's not gone. Huh? And he won't be gone. And you can still fight for him. You can only fight for someone who wants to be fought for. Relationship. Marriage. Our two-way street. He's not even fighting for us. Okay, when was the last time you spoke to his mom or you saw her to explain the situation to her? Because right now the two of you need to talk to Sam. What haven't I done? What? In fact, she just left. You can't give up now, you know. You can't give up. I'm tired. Let them be.
Some say it's fun when you live someone else's life. <laughs> but it's too late to cry when the head is off the neck. <laughs> Mr. Richard, you don't have to cry. Huh? You see, out of the broken pieces of the past, I pray God will build an edifice of hope for you. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Smoke it, James, man. I decided I'd ask myself How you take leave me Cause you left the wet the rain Even left a cocky But I understand It must have been hard for you To keep up with a guy like me After all the things I did yeah. Maybe you don't go leave me so Not me the custom like this so Which guy will I be this Maybe my share for me Waiting, I go to she don't go. She be my so clear. She don't go. Waiting, I go to she don't go. She be my so clear. She don't go. She don't go. I don't know where to start from. I don't even know how to pick up the pieces and think of the next step. Should I go back and beg Elisa? No. That wouldn't be fair to her. Not after everything. Oh my. Richard, you just lost. Honestly. Richard, why are you doing this to yourself? We don't want to lose you. I know it's been very rough for you in the past few months, but you have to move on. Stop thinking. Stop being stubborn. Auntie, why won't I think? Eh? My life is over. I'm too young for all of these things to be happening to me. My life is not over. Please don't say that to yourself again. Trials and temptations are part of life. But you have to move on. You have to stop being stubborn. And realize that God has blessed your life with a lot of people who love you. I know you'll be fine.
What is wrong with you, for me? Don't touch my phone again. Why should I pick this call? Eh? Tell me, Fumi. Why should I? Please, just hear him out. This guy has been calling your phone for like three weeks now and you, you've not even tried to give him attention. Just listen to what he has to say to you. I, just talk to him. <laughs> Were you not there when he left me for Linda? I, I know, but you know... It... No, just no but. Why is he calling me now? Just tell me. If Linda did not die, would he have come back to me? Would he? So now he's trying to find his way back to me? Or what? I, I know what you're saying. Just try and talk to him. You can forgive him, you know. Between you and I, we know that there are lots of homebreakers out there like Linda. And I have always warned you about Linda, but you won't listen. But let's just leave that aside. But just talk to this guy. Just listen to what he has to say. Hear him out. He keeps calling you. But, but this is embarrassing. Just take his call. Please. Do you know what? I can't believe you. Why are you siding with him? Why? What is wrong with you? Besides, I am with Charles now. So please, don't mention the name of Richard in my presence again. So you won't listen to your sister. Your sister, sister. For me, I'm engaged to Charles. Oh. This car is from Charles. The guy has been nothing but. He treats me like a queen. He respects me. He loves me. If not for the court verdict that I'm waiting for, Charles and I would have announced our wedding date by now. So please, I'm begging you again, fool me. Don't mention Richard in my presence again. Hmm. Meanwhile, you will be invited to the wedding. No, come, 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 come here. Come, come please come. Come, come back here. <laughs> Look at this one. No. Did you just say, say to me that I'm invited for the wedding? Please, do you have any other cheap price for me? So if you know that, so why? Are you saying with Richard? I am just. Please, I'm just saying. Baby girl. 